multi-operational intergalactic space traveler. The year is 3045. Your hour-long mission is to experience life aboard the Moist. Please allow yourselves a moment to bask in our technology, including driverless cars, reverse magnetic ion therapy, and other crazy shit like that. <laughs> As per standard prime procedure, please raise your left arm and rotate your hand. Good. Please clear your throat as your voice will be used for suggestions. Good. You have now completed the calibration process. For those of you who did not participate in calibration, you will be terminated. <laughs> Due to a memory corruption, our itineraries have been lost, and therefore our mission goals will be improvised. As well, your handheld electronic devices may have been compromised due to exposure to space radiation. To prevent further damage, please turn them off until the end of the mission. <coughs> if you have any questions, please consult the Tachyon Heated Energy Amplified Telepathic Response Emitter, or Voice Theater, located on Hyperdex 3 and 6. Welcome aboard the Moist. <laughs> garbage with us to our new planet. Yeah. We had to have a shtick. <laughs> <laughs> but it didn't work, you know? That's why I'm here, away from away from garbage land. No, probably this shit hole. <laughs> spooky land, I like to call it. <laughs> I know it's not actually called spooky land. I know it's called dry land, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your pun is really good. <laughs> Dude, a little humor is sometimes necessary here. I feel like with you it's all serious, you know? You take guard duty so serious, you take romance a bit too serious. Uh, I have a, 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 a. <laughs> Come on, dude. The number of nights I've spent on guard duty with you where all you do is, oh, oh, Sarah, oh, my life, fuck, dude. <laughs> Just the way you say your name. <laughs> Jesus. You know, once, me and Sarah... We were atop a garbage mound. I got down on one knee. You know how we had padding knees? Yeah, I, know, I know how you So you didn't get needles? <laughs> and I got down on one knee and I looked at her and I said, I said, Sarah, Sarah you're have I told you this story? <laughs> Sarah, you're so beautiful. And I Dude, stopped right there. Original. That's all I said. I, I wanted to psych her out. I just wanted to get, you're beautiful. Why do you think Sarah looked at away! They didn't think the proposal was coming, and then in fact I said, whoops, going to dry land. <laughs> you're, you're stuck with the two kids now. <laughs> 
Dude, don't you miss your kids? Yeah. <laughs> You're such a dog. I dis. I, I. I respect what you did, but I think you made a mistake. Is what I'm trying to say. You know, there's a reason that Sarah's not here. There's a reason that you're alone in this goddamn guard station with me every night. Yeah, Jordan, and I hate I'm, being outside alone. I'm out here with you, man. I mean, you're out there with yourself, <laughs> but I'm the. I'm on the wall with you, dude. Like, I mean, for the majority. I was. When I'm up here, man, it's totally different. What you don't know is the wind's colder up here. You're all down in your warm little protective bubble. Ooh, a sandwich. Yeah, oh, nice sandwich. Sorry, what's up? <laughs> I don't know. I came in for a reason. The air just feels a bit cooler tonight. A bit drier, if you will. <laughs> So? I don't know. You Think got a what? spooky feeling? Yeah, I got a spooky feeling. I know it's, what's it like? look like out there. Describe what you're seeing. I'm not on the wall. I can't see it. <laughs> it looks fucking terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, in the Emperor's Palace. So, and then he just kind of knelt down and he said, you're beautiful. <laughs> And that was pretty. Then he got up and yawned. And walked away. <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry. I don't. No, what about your kids? Oh, they're um, they're with the uh, babysitter. Oh. <laughs> Here. So I figured. I'm checking all the. I'm checking all the monitors for Sarah, and uh, everything's looking good out there. It's looking good. The walls are well guarded. Uh, good. Things are. Good. Things are all going okay. Good. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry want... for... No, go ahead. Sorry for unloading on you like that. I guess that's not really emperorly. I guess Emperor I should... Of em me. Empressly. Empressly. <laughs> Empress. I don't know what the... I don't know what the adjective would be of emperor. I don't know what... Is that an adjective? No, it's a noun. Okay, normal. It's still a noun. <laughs> but if you saw someone walking down the street and you thought, they're looking very emperorly. <laughs> I guess in my case... Em look, I'm just saying... I don't know <laughs> It was personal of me to bring that up, and I'm, I'm sorry. I appreciate hey. that you're doing the guard duty and all that stuff. Okay, I'm it's doing, just... well, monitor duty, hologram duty. <laughs> um, I don't know if you've, if you felt like a, like a spooky feeling, <laughs> sort of tonight? Yeah. 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 Is that... The end So a few simple rules for this game. First off, if you move them into a position, they'll stay there until you choose to move them again. Okay? Uh, move them however you want. Just be a little gentle. If you want them to move forward, tap on the back of their legs. If you want them to move back, tap on the front of their legs. Nice and easy, and they'll go. Okay? Uh, last thing is just try and keep the pointy bits out of the squishy bits. Okay? And that's, that's pretty much it. So uh, for this, uh, we, need, uh, we, need, uh, we need some sort of... Uh, a profession, okay? So what's a, what's a job that you think is pretty cool that probably isn't going to exist in the future? Blacksmith. Oh, blacksmith. Beautiful. I love it. Thank you very much. Oh, and uh, oh, let's add to this. Perhaps what is a problem that a blacksmith may encounter? No problems. It's for... Space horses. S space horses. <laughs> well, ladies, you have quite the scene ahead of you. So, you have the uh, uh, blacksmith scene.
scene involving space horses. Uh, ladies, put them into the positions you'd like this scene to begin in. <laughs>
Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just us. Yeah, it's just us. And neither no, one of us no. is a girl. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not either. That was, a, that was a secret I was gonna... Look, all right, we gotta de-stress, okay? There's something that I love to do in space to de-stress. Mm -hmm. And that thing is... Doorknobs. <laughs> yeah, doorknobs. Hey. Okay, cool. All right, so what I do, you take this pillow sack. Okay. And I'll take this pillow sack, and you fill it with some doorknobs. No, I did that for you. Okay. Already fill the doorknobs, don't worry. And you swing it at each other. Okay. Right. We used to play this all the time growing up. Yeah. I remember, remember I'd always look at you and I'd say, Bye! <laughs> yeah, because you always won! I didn't want to get you were hurt never, again. You were never too big into dogs. No, no, never too big. No. Okay, well, look, we don't... Well, I'm going to take one swing, because I really want to. <laughs> Alright, that was fun. Cool. Alright, look, we don't need to play your house. It scares you. Alright, we can do something much more relaxed. Alright, we can lay back, look at the sun, and relax, and we can... Play ball rods. <laughs> I want to play ball rods for so long. I know. All right, I'll get the pillowcase filled with balls, <laughs> and I'll get the pillowcase full of rocks. All right, <laughs> and then we swing them over and over, and I count three. One, two, three, ball rods. Oh, oh, see you lose. I lost. <laughs> I thought coming to Mars with one other dude to collect samples of Mars uh, dirt would not be that much fun. But it's turning out okay. I mean, I don't want to fuck you, but other than that... Well, if you did before, me suggesting playing doorknobs was probably going to turn you in the other direction. That's, That's fair. Listen, Jack, I'm thinking about making a change. What do you mean? Just in general. I'm what thinking I'm thinking of cutting more things. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. You can't! I want to! You can't. I want to! Don't! Stop! Don't do it! We want to! We've already cut so many things! I know! We cut the entire ship apart! Yeah! What are you gonna cut? The dirt? The dirt? You're gonna clean the entire ship? The bags of doorknobs? Yeah. <laughs> Don't you dare oh. leave the bags of doorknobs in two! Don't you We'll never play again! Don't you dare, or so help me, I will hit you over the head! Yeah! I'm gonna hit you! I told you I didn't want to play doorknobs anymore! I meant with my fists. <laughs> That's right, I'm serious. <laughs> no longer am I conveying my anger through a sack of doorknobs. <laughs> Alright? Now, if you cut any more things, so help me, I will strike you down with all the fury of this reduced gravity environment. <laughs> what do you want to say? Say it! Alright. I'm going to say something to you I've wanted to say for a really long time. Say it! I'm going to say... Go back to Russia. No! saying me, and I can't see any of you. Okay, one of you... Oh, there we go. That's much better. Okay, right there. What's your name? Luli? Luli? <laughs> Veronique and Luli? <laughs> Hold on! Alright, Luli. Uh, you, do you go to McMaster? No. No? Where are you from? Then? I'm from Stony Creek. Stony Creek? Very nice. And what do you do when you're in Stony Creek? Oh, I work. <laughs> <laughs> You were thinking, you're like, I don't know. <laughs> you work. Where do you work, Louie? Oh, at Cal 
Little Seas, very nice. They have a lot of variety of uh, food. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's great. I don't want to go into too much detail because it's almost embarrassing how well I know the Kelsey's men. But uh, in any case, uh, Lily, when you were growing up as a little girl in Stony Creek, uh, <laughs> okay, well, I'll leave then. When, okay. when you were growing up as a little girl, not in Stony Creek, um, what you didn't, uh, when you thought about the future, you didn't necessarily say, I'm going to grow up and I'm going to work at Kelsey's. When you were a little girl, what did you want to grow up and do? Be a princess. Be a princess. <laughs> Luli. <laughs> well, let me tell you this. You caught me in a good mood. Because since Saturday, I've watched Frozen twice. <laughs> <laughs> and the guys didn't think that was going to come in handy. <laughs> All right, well, uh, Luli, just for you right now, we're going to show you what your life could have been like if you had grown up and you had become a princess. Okay. okay. I'm gonna leave this town. I'm gonna leave this town. I'm gonna head to Stony Creek. <laughs> yup, Stony Creek, land of princesses. <laughs> <laughs> Kitchen. Uh, 
No cussing. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm getting very mixed signals. <laughs> like a minute ago, you said I looked like a princess. You did. And I was a princess. You are. And now you're calling me a bitch. <laughs> so I don't know what you want. I'm in this Kelsey's. I want to go out to Stony Creek. I want to be a princess. I, mean, I don't want to sit here and take shit from somebody who's going to tell me all about the... <laughs> who's going to tell me about the... <laughs> Like. Do you want to know why? Why I act this way? I, I do, but I'm afraid you're going to slap me. <laughs> I was a little girl. I grew up long ago in this terrible world. And now I work at a Kelsey's because I can't. Be a princess myself, no, I can't. But it's okay because I love it. And I sing to Jimmy Buffett. <laughs> and now I never want to be a princess anymore. I don't want to be like you, you ugly silver face whore. <laughs> Fire. <laughs> and 
I really wish they weren't still on fire. <laughs> you know what, man? Thanks. The wind. <laughs> I don't know why I'm carrying a rifle. Because it seems to be in comparison to this magical phaser I have. And I don't know why I have that spear, but... I would just be a lure like, like this. It's why you're wearing the loincloth and yeah. space boots. <laughs> it's not about getting into things, man. I, sometimes I feel like you don't get into it, you know? Like... I left my feet on fire because it was a metaphor, you know? Oh, what well, was the metaphor? You don't need to be fading. Standing in the fire again! <laughs> I'm okay with that. I'm okay with Meanwhile, back at the Empress's castle. All right, those are still reading maximum. Okay? Yeah, right? Look, there's something really weird, something really spooky going on. Okay, I know that my ex fiance is a guard, all right? You don't need to hide that from me anymore. That's why I sent them out into the jungle, all right? I don't want them near the castle when whatever it is that Silky goes on. But then who's going to guard our walls? It, look, it's going to be us, okay? We us? can handle it. Yeah, I've got my scepter. You're You've got this. You're holding a spoon. <laughs> spoon? Scepter? It's still quite big. It is big! All right? Look, we, can, we don't even know what it is. It could just be misreadings in the sensors. All right? Okay, could I be just, something wrong. I just know something is up. I mean, I mean, the carbon is way off. The carbon okay. is so off. The carbon is way off, first of all. And secondly, the rubidium blasters aren't responding the way they're supposed to be. Oh, that's so tragic because they're such a good metal. <laughs> <laughs> I always forget if those are alkali or alkaline earth metals, but I know they're yeah, bad. They're, they're, yeah, they're, they're not reactive. They're not reactive. Oh, great, they're alkaline. Yeah. Okay, good. That's good to know. All right. Look. Look, something weird. I, I agree. Okay? I agree. Maybe we should send everyone away from the city. Just send everyone away. You know, Kevin, get in their ships and just fly away. Just fly away. You know, go to go to Argon, the planet. <laughs> the planet made entirely out of Argon. Argon. Yeah. Argon's yeah. a noble gas, so it won't react. <laughs> That's a good idea. Yeah. Until you were here, you never knew you were Argon. <laughs> Attention! Attention! Men and women! Yeah? <laughs> this is... This is your Empress, Sarah. Hey, Sarah. <laughs> According to duty, ma'am! At this point in time, I'm going to declare a level four evacuation of the planet. Awesome! <laughs> I what think mean? that means What's high four. Four. It's on a scale of zero. Six is the most urgent, so four means it's pretty urgent, but not maximum urgency. Cool. <laughs> Look, you need to get into your ships, you need to get off the planet. We don't know what it is right now. Something's off with the carbon, and the rubidium isn't responding in the way that it normally does. You need to get into your ships, and you need to travel to Argon as soon as possible. Yeah, be Argon with yourselves. Don't, hold on. Hold on a second. I'm on the I'm trying to go to the I'm on the I'm on Anyway, you need Sorry, to get. Guys, we're fighting. We just stay quiet. <laughs> okay, I guess. Okay, look. You need to get out of here. It's because I care about all of you that I want you to all be safe. That's so nice. <laughs> um. Okay. Where did you leave the car, man? Oh, the car to get off this planet. <laughs> okay, I don't. I don't need to hear any of this. Meanwhile, so, uh, back in the jungle. <laughs> Is that a ship? Is that a car-shaped ship? <laughs> Why is it going into orbit, followed by like 20 others? That's like the whole... That's like the whole populace! That looks like a... No, that, that can't be left. I'm gonna look in my guidebook, but... You're gonna look in a, in a tourist guidebook <laughs> to see what the answer for a mass evacuation is? No, come to, come to Dry World, unless everyone evacuates, in which case... All the rubidiums to 
getting blown up. <laughs> it's my future sky travel guidebook. God, oh, whatever. Listen, the rubidium, is, okay. the rubidium is not. Look, <laughs> my rubidium blaster. <laughs> it's not blasting or it's winding. <laughs> Dude, that makes sense because they're doing. I couldn't believe it, but they're doing a level four evacuation. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Level four. That means, you know what that means? We are literally the last people on this planet. <laughs> we? They wouldn't leave us here. <laughs> Do you see the car safe ships leaving? <laughs> Dude, they didn't give us a ship, though. I don't know what they expected. Just send us out to the jungle and then. Maybe that was their plan! Did you ever think of that, huh? Maybe we know too much. We've been here ten years, man. Ten years, that's a long time to learn shit. Yeah. Where do you go to the washroom, huh? I bet you there's a private washroom that you know about and nobody else does. That's what we're killing for. That hole that I dug behind the tree. <laughs> oh my God. I was referring to like a regular washroom that had, that had like toilet paper and like a do not disturb sign. I didn't realize that existed. <laughs> you didn't realize there was washrooms in the palace? <laughs> Something that a lot of people don't realize about improv is that while it's traditionally viewed as being very comedic, a lot of very valuable improvisation comes from taking time and doing more serious explorations of real characters and real emotions. And I think for us it's, it's been really fun to be able to practice and, and sort of refine our, our practice in dramatic theater. And I know that, that we really like to do a dramatic and improvised scene for you tonight. Yeah. And I know that Carson and Colin don't necessarily feel the same way. No, they're not, they're not as into it, but we'd like to just take a moment and sort of try this out and see, see how it goes. Yeah. Okay? So uh, what we need from you now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, what's a very, very serious problem that could be encountered in the future at some point? Cloning. I'm sorry? Cloning. Cloning. All right. Uh, so, what is it about what is it about cloning that could be very dangerous? You're gonna get replaced. Oh, fantastic, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Cloning being replaced by clones. I'm certain that's a deep down fear yeah. that everybody has had at some point. <laughs> uh, you saw the movie Multiplicity and said, "No, no." <laughs> I'm really excited to work with that. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna show you a very dramatic, uh, serious performance on cloning. <laughs> so many questions. Is it me? Or am I a clone? A, cl a clone of myself? To be honest, I don't know anymore. When I look at you, I don't know whether I see Dan? You're not looking at him. Yeah, look at Dan. <laughs> you know? Like, who are you? Who look am I? Who are you really? <laughs> who are you? Who are... Us. Oh, gee. <laughs> These are the questions.
questions that I want to address. The tough and questions and the tough answers. Is this an after school special? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of waiting around, waiting to be replicated. I want to be me. I want to be us. I want to be us. I want to be I, we. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Years. It's Human a touch. I forgot what it's like. <laughs> a body is not limited merely to touch. There are other senses. Oh, how do you miss those? <laughs> <laughs> not only touch, though, I hear your body approaching. <laughs> Listen, my footsteps grow fainter as I grow further away. I wish this lay would go further away. <laughs> I can always smell the real you. Another sense is smell. <laughs> smell me, I smell of wildflowers and sin. <laughs> sin is not something you can smell. Sin is something you can only taste. <laughs> Changed me on some level. No, no. Didn't change you to be a better actor. <laughs> I feel changed. There's nothing more powerful than the human touch. Your suspender fell down. <laughs> Somebody feels different right now, and I'm not sure what it is. I hope that's not in there. Is a man not more than his mere DNA? <laughs> I hear you behind me. A sense. Your words are like poetry. Your words are like garbage. You know, okay, um, maybe for someone uh, in the second row here. Uh, this is just something, the guys don't, the guys don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but I told them I wanted to do something, so uh, maybe from, uh, from you, uh, sir. Um, you don't need to stand up, so okay. Uh, you can if you want to. I, I don't know what he's planning, but I don't think it's like a keg in the uh, What's, <laughs> what's your name? Kyle. Hi, Kyle. Um, uh, so, um, this is weird, but there's four suits in a deck of cards, right? Yeah. Spades, hearts, clubs, and diamonds. Uh, I want you just to pick one. Just tell me which one. Clubs. 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 Uh, <laughs> good. Uh, and and there's from jack to ace inclusive. So jack, queen, king, ace. Just yeah. just pick one. King. King. King of clubs. King of clubs. King of clubs. Um, okay, uh, Carson. Yeah. Um, so this is kind of weird, but before there were your pant, I put a card in your pants. <laughs> <laughs> I know this is weird. If you just look in your your front right pocket. Just trust me, just look in your... Alright. King of Clubs! Oh. Did the card make sense? Oh, wow! 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 He committed it uh, with an object, and he committed it in a location. So what we need from you are those three things. So from someone maybe on this side, what's uh, a person, character, cartoon character, fictional character, Greek god, what, whatever? Minimax. Uh, I'm going to go Minimax. I heard Minimax. Uh, Minimax. Mini okay. Uh, now from some, we need the next thing, the, the object that the crime Brass is pump. <laughs> <laughs> A breast pump. <laughs> great, great. And, uh, and from someone in the middle, from someone, someone in the middle, uh, where where did 
he commit this crime uh, from someone I've taught? It can be a country, it can be a location. Harlem. Harlem. <laughs> Harlem. Uh, and where, where in Harlem? Maybe a building in Harlem? Like that. <laughs> like that's a, like a shake uh, store called the Harlem Shake. The Shake District of Harlem. <laughs> <laughs> if Harlem doesn't have a shake store that's called the Harlem Shake, they are they're missing out. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what? What Harlem? Just Har Harlem Shake. That's where he committed the crime. At a Harlem. At a Harlem Shake. <laughs> uh, Are we going? Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's right. You can chain me up and put me in your dirty jail cell. Coffee, two sugars. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we think that we can put you in here because we know you committed the crime. <laughs> All we need at this point is a confession. Maybe we'll take it easier on you if you give us a little more information. Oh, a little more information. Is that what this is really about? Or is this just prejudice? We just want to know who your accomplice was. Oh, All right, right. We just need a little bit of information. All just right. a little bit. <laughs> just a miniature amount of information. Yeah. We don't need to. We're sneaking around, you know, creeping in the walls. <laughs> well, I can't really help you because I know a little bit of everything. You know what I mean. Well, then start so, talking. All right, here's your coffee. Thank and you. Just for fun, I put a Mickey a gin in. Who <laughs> <laughs> was, oh, was your Mickey? accomplice? So what? I was with Mickey Mouse. That doesn't make me a criminal. Yeah, you don't fly that way. Oh, I wish you were. Minnie Mouse. <laughs> yeah. 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 But that's not know. all. Well, wow. <laughs> You've been working out, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice, isn't it? I actually have. Yeah, it shows. It shows right in here. Alright, what did you commit the crime with? A stick. My muscles. My bare hands. Look, you're flying all over the place. All right, you just need to be calm. Yeah, all right? pump the brakes. <laughs> all right, just chill out a little bit. All right, there's nothing to get upset about. I mean, all right, okay. Yeah. I'm cool. I'm just chill. Yeah, I'm... save some of that cool for later. <laughs> yeah, just be a little. Oh, sorry, I spilled your coffee. What was it? Two sugars and milk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, careful with the coffee maker. It ran out of batteries. I gotta put a, I gotta put some more D's in that. Two of them. <laughs> Luckily, we had enough left for this cup. Yep. I'll make sure and get two new D's though. That's good. And make sure you put them into two cups. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And g grab that bra while you're there. Too. <laughs> <laughs> what did you commit the crime with? Committed it with a set of double D's. Pair <laughs> uh, of breasts. If only it was that simple. If only. No, no. We know you're squirting lies. <laughs> yeah. It's like, hey, you know, you know what I hate the most about this job, guys? What? It's like we make so much money, you know. And sometimes I'm just making money, and I don't know what to do with it, you know. Uh, it's yeah. like sometimes I wish my wife would just come in and put my money away, just put it somewhere for later. <laughs> yeah, like a freeze. Yeah, you wish she would freeze your money yeah. for later. Yeah, <laughs> you know, for the baby. Yeah. <laughs> for after you stop, yeah, after you stop wanting to earn money, and then want to go back to your career. Yeah. <laughs> Metaphors. Yeah, you kind of broke that one. Why did you commit the crime with? So what? I was with Mickey Mouse, and maybe we had some frozen breast milk. <laughs> How did you get it? How did you get that frozen breast milk? From the frozen breast milk pump. If you want to freeze it, that's up to you. Yeah, if you want to put the, I guess it makes it colder, which I don't know. All right. Now, where did you commit the crime? <laughs> Alright, we look. Look, we finally got you 
especially here. You've been gallivanting all across the world, trotting all across the globe, all right? And we finally got you here. So just tell us where you committed the crime. Harlem? <laughs> oh, if only it were that easy! I'm super excited! She lets down her long golden hair. He climbs up. They live happily ever after. Is that pretty much it? Good. Great. <laughs> That's it. Okay. And I got that there's a girl with long hair in a tower, right? And then you're all like, well, you're missing all the subjects. <laughs> I got the tower in the hair. That's All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're going to show you. This is a game called Happily Ever After. We're going to show you what happens directly after Rapunzel ends. And uh, we're going to see what happens there. And uh, get ready for all this subtext. <laughs> oh, hey. Rough day at the factory? Uh huh. <laughs> I let my hair down for you. <laughs> I know how you like it when I let my hair down for you. <laughs> It's running on the ground to your feet, <laughs> You could follow it like some sort okay. of rope. Okay, all right. It's guiding you towards me. Babe, <laughs> babe, look. I've been at the factory all day long, melting ore into steel. Yeah. All right? And I know you're thinking, hey, there's more than one step in that process to make steel. Yeah, but I'm thinking you could just skip most of them. <laughs> it's tough, is what I'm saying. All right? All day long, intense heat, uh, intense steel making. All right? Honey, we haven't been to the top floor in forever. It's always down here in the living room or going up to the kitchen. I'm tired, all right? I'm tired is what I'm saying. Every day I get home, I come in the door, and you make some sort of family circus maze <laughs> with your hair. Yeah, all the way back to you. It's always It's the not a nice. It's I would love to come home one time, open the door, follow the stupid maze, and end up in a snowmobile or something. What? All right? Like me on a snowmobile? No, not you on a snowmobile. <laughs> Just a snowmobile. Hair. Everybody aboard, we're going to have fun with the boys at Tom's Cottage. I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm looking for a change. A change? You want me to shave it off, don't you? <laughs> All of it. And just donate it to cancer or something. <laughs> that would be... You're making that sound like that's a terrible thing. <laughs> like, like, I would want to do that with all of my hair. Look, babe, I'm just... I'm bored. All right? Every day. I could put streaks in it. <laughs> still, it's still a long amount of hair. That we so right many cups. But it would be like a rainbow stream. <laughs> like a unicorn tail. I don't want to come home and dance on a unicorn tail. Oh, don't put it there. Put it there. <laughs> I just want things to be the way they were. You know, when you wanted me for my hair and for me. Not just for the beer I put in the fridge. <laughs> Look, it's just, it's hard. After five years of marriage, you know, it's, sometimes the spark just goes out, you know? And the girl I rescued from a tower is still just the same fucking girl. <laughs> I know what it is. I know what it is. I read your text messages. It's that bitch Elsa, isn't it? <laughs> I know you've been seeing you behind my back, okay? Okay? Elsa? <laughs> Great. Smash. She's Stop, it's Elsa. 
Casa, bitch. <laughs> On my snowmobile. She's so good with the winter. <laughs> Look. Come in. Come I said that whole thing thing to a door. <laughs> All right. Look. So what Yo. is it, B? I want. <laughs> I don't want you to be with needs. I need that icicle, bitch. What 
are you two still doing here? Didn't you get the code four? Oh, yeah. The level four? Stage four. Stage four? <laughs> we were just on our way out. On our scooters. On scooters? Oh, yeah. Well, me and Empress Sarah, we came just to make sure that you two, oh my that God. you two didn't stay on the planet for a long time. I know, I'm telling them right now. Just so you didn't stay on the planet for too Robbie. long, because you need to get off. Because you need to, I'm telling them right now. Because you need to, because it's good. Like, the planet might explode. So it's, stage, it's not Robbie. stage five, but it might be soon. What? My scooter's not working. Sweet scooter. <laughs> <laughs> I 
fucking amazing. Like, oh, so much. oh my god. Like fucking give it up to Christian Artek. <laughs> game for you. It's an oldie but a goodie. Uh, yeah. I can see none of you have seen this before, so I will explain it. Um, just so that you know, there is hydrogen and two oxygen bonded together. No, no, no. Us, us. One oxygen two hydrogens and, and one oxygen polar covalent. <laughs> Minerals because it's not distilled. Oh, and the ion minerals. Shut up! They don't care about fucking water. So what's gonna happen? Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna be playing a game. And this is a game called Questions Only. And in this scene, we're only allowed to talk in questions. How you doing? What time is the train? Etc. Sorry, right? there's a dog hair. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. It's got just minerals. <laughs> um so, we're going to be playing a game called Questions Only, and if one of us screws up and says something that isn't a question, well then, to punish them, they are going to have to come back here, place El Head in El Bucket in Spanish, and they're going to have to hold their breath until the next person screws up. Okay? I know, this is... So normally we have a... Yeah, normally oh, we have an emergency no, belt, but we not always today. knock it off the... Not today, because it's April. Um, <laughs> so, um, so to get started, um, we just need uh, a place where all where these scenes are going to take place. So it could be uh, the Harlem Shake, or it could be uh, uh, anywhere. Uh, maybe, some, maybe somewhere that would fit in this area, like a bus stop or an uh, ice cream shop or something. What? What? A candy house. It's a house of candy. Candy house. Candy house. Oh, not yet. No, not yet. no one's screwed up. That's right, I forgot. Aren't there supposed to be kids here? <laughs> Did you bring the jelly beans? <laughs> Did I bring the jelly beans? Who do you think I am? Someone that forgets the jelly beans? <laughs> Aren't you the Wicked Witch? Would you like to try one? Yeah. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> Can you believe how much candy is in this house? Is it all red? <laughs> Can't you see all the different colors and the magic? Wow. Where did this place come from? <sighs> Didn't you see it being built? Let me try the little apples. Is it as delicious as it looks? <laughs> Why are you my apple? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Strippers 
in these poles. Where are the poles used? Why has she been hiding those tips from us, too? <laughs> Is that the Dean's wife, do you think? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming out. We fucking love you.